Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about applications of microgrids. Last week we have studied about the microgrids. The microgrids are the modern design or modern structure of the power system where we create the local grids. So like locally we generate power. So let's say solar power generation which is a locally produced power generation technology. So locally produced means it is located in the household on, on the roof of the house or the commercial buildings. So these are the local areas. So it's traditionally a conventional way of power generation is power is generated far away from the consumer end. The the consumers location so uh, usually power is generated from through the thermal power plant or hydro power plant which is far away from the the users so these uh, huge transmission like 100 kilometers or 200 kilometers long transmission line create a lot of power losses uh, and a lot of expenses in the in terms of grid infrastructure so to avoid those expenses losses, we are moving forward with the microgrid concept. So microgrid means we are produce power locally, store it locally and use it locally. And the grid can be as a backup for the, the microgrid. So we can have either grid connected microgrid or, or uh, islanded microgrid or even we can have a standalone microgrid where the grid is completely not available so this is this is the fundamental concept of microgrid so with that we are going to study about what are the applications so first one is the community and campus microgrids so these are used by universities corporate campuses and residential communities to manage energy more sustainably and cost effectively so usually nowadays uh, we are evolving with the concept of uh, micro uh, microgrid on campus so usually universities uh, generate their own power using solar panels batteries and other renewable resources like uh, wind turbines, small wind turbines, or sort of things. So, so usually these commercial properties, basically universities, it is easy for them to uh, create the microgrid. So they can reduce the, the uh, energy expenses and they can also earn money by exporting power to grid. They can, uh, they can power an entire community independently and ensure that critical infrastructure remain operational during grid outages. One of the other, another example that uh, during grid outages, grid uh, issues of uh, the blackouts in the grid, during that time we can supply our load using our own microgrid power generation. So it means we are independent from the grid during the outage time. So this is a, a good advantage for the community and campus microgrid, usually university campuses microgrid. Then uh, next one is remote and off-grid locations. Ideal for rural areas, islands and military bases where connections to the main grid may be unreliable or non-existent. So we know, we already discussed last week as well, the islands and uh, some of the rural areas. It is very hard to bring the grid supply to those rural areas, maybe 500,000 kilometers away from the city or the grid available location. So it is a waste of money to build the infrastructure for 500 kilometers to supply for 100 houses. Rather than bringing this uh, transmission line, we can have a microgrid, is a off-grid microgrid, or we call a standalone microgrid. Off-grid means completely is off-grid. There is no grid at all. So these microgrids often rely heavily on renewable and storage due to limited fuel supply for generators. So usually these kind of off-grid microgrid usually uh, rely on renewable energy resources and storage. And next one is industrial and commercial facilities. So microgrids help facilities reduce downtime, 
maintain operations during grid outages and reduce energy costs through the better load management so when we have uh, our own grid that is micro grid then we can reduce the downtime we we always have a, a higher reliability because uh, if grid goes out or grid has outage then we can supply our own load by our battery store energy or our own local power generation so there are Uh, different options for us to supply the load so we can uh, increase the reliability so so uh, particularly uh, valuable for industries with high energy needs sensitive equipment or strict power quality requirement so whenever we have a sensitive equipment that need a, a specific voltage range and also some sensitive equipment need a high power quality requirement like Uh, less harmonics uh, should present in the uh, system and this kind of uh, specific requirement if we have this kind of specific requirement we cannot uh, ask the grid to uh, provide a uh, super high quality uh, supply rather than asking grid we can supply our own high quality uh, electricity supply to the loads so that is possible through the micro concept i mean like we we uh, uh, customize our uh, our quality of the supply to our our through our own power generation next one is a disaster recovery and emergency preparedness so micro grids can help deploy in disaster prone areas to ensure resilience power supply enhancing community recovery effort so usually the places where the disaster happens or the places where the issues or the climatic uh, problem happens those kind of areas uh, it is resilience to have own power generation there through the micro grid concept so when through the micro grid concept actually we are reducing the poles and wire requirement of the poles and wires so usually in the conventional system we have a long transmission line then there's a step down transformer then from there we have a distribution lines a huge infrastructure so uh, having micro grid it reduces all the infrastructure it mean we have we reduces the uh, occurrence of uh, any disaster um disaster due to disaster the poles and wires are broken or fall down or some sort, of, sort of chance so it is good to have a power generation locally so that we have reducing the chances of failures or any any chances uh, in um, uh, bringing the power from one location to another location there, there are a lot of challenges um uh, due to disaster or i mean natural uh, calamity or things okay these used in emergency shelters hospitals and other critical infrastructure to support recovery effort in the event of natural disasters as i said those uh, during these times if you have a own battery backup with a simple uh, solar power generation or small backup diesel generator that's enough we can supply our own load so that's is is a, uh, it is energy management will be better Uh, if we supply our own lot without depending on the um, grid uh, to supply so uh, we come to the end of this video so the the summary of this video is uh, uh, talking about applications where the micro grid is uh, basically uh, more applicable in what places basically universities buildings nowadays uh, Uh, having their own micro grid so the university i studied in australia also uh, having their own uh, micro grid so um, just sharing the knowledge of uh, micro grid application thank you very much uh, we'll see you in the next video